Hello folks and welcome to the top 10 actual T-Rex facts and not the clickbaity crap you see in other videos. But first a word from our sponsor. Just kidding, there is no sponsor. So forget all that Jurassic Park taught you, let's learn some real sh**. Number 10, Tyrannosaurus Family. T-Rex belongs to a family of theropods called Tyrannosauridae, with two subfamilies that contain 13 genera. That's right, T-Rex wasn't alone, and it was actually one of the last to arrive on the scene during the Maastrichtian age of the late Cretaceous period, falling into the subfamily unoriginally named Tyrannosaurinae. As with all big-ass things, it didn't just plop into existence, but rather evolved into the giant death machine it became by evolving and splitting off until it became a mega trash compactor with legs. And in case you were wondering, the first of these giant meat consumers was Gorgosaurus. Number 9. It had good eyesight. Although Jurassic Park and another blunder made the T-Rex seem that it couldn't wear its contact lenses because its arms were too friggin' short to put them in, it actually had good eyesight. Like, really damn good eyesight. Like, compared with Hawk's eyesight. And as with all good visually focused predators, its big ass eyes, and they were big, were positioned to give them excellent binocular vision. Along with the eyes, they also had a much longer optic lobe that was much larger than in humans. This all meant that the Tyrannosaur could see over a mile and had great focus, giving them vision 13 times greater than humans. All this together means that just not moving actually made eating more convenient for them. This couple with the next fact makes them that much more terrifying. Number 8. Excellent Smell The T-Rex had very large olfactory nerves and bulbs, giving it some of the best smell of not just any dinosaur, but of any animal in history. Like, ever. The only comparable animal to that is the modern-day turkey vulture, which can smell up to 11 miles away which explains why they are always the first on a nature crime scene. If the T-Rex had anything close to that kind of smell, it meant that the Tyrannosaur could keep pursuing its prey for days, and only gave up when it felt it wasn't worth it or just found something easier. To make it easier to understand, if you farted in a crowded room, T-Rex knew who did it. Number 7. Good Hearing if the two previous ridiculous sensory receptors were not enough, the Tyrannosaurus also had very long cochlea, which is Greek for spiral or snail shell. Bet you didn't know that. This is a part of the inner ear that directly relates to hearing, and its length was actually unusual among theropods. Experts believe that particular importance was given to low frequencies. While they might have actually had an appreciation for bass-driven dubstep, it was probably more for tracking the sounds of the larger prey that it went after. And to the next point, other Tyrannosaurs. Number 6. T-Rex didn't sound like this. Boy, my head being right all the time. Well, we can't say for certain, but we can't rule that out like we can't rule out that it didn't sound like an opera singer chasing you. In truth, what is closer to its actual sound is a little more terrifying. Julia Clark, a paleontology professor at the University of Texas, used the throat sound of a Chinese alligator, which sounds kind of like something trying to superforce a fart through the neck. She took this sound and mixed it with the booming sound of a bittern. She scaled the size up and then cranked it all to 11. And this is what it sounds like. Number 5. It didn't have the smallest arms. If there is any aspect that the T-Rex gets teased about, it's because of its small arms in relation to its body. While most people would like to think that Tyrannosaurs drove jacked up pickup trucks that never go off-road to compensate, T-Rex didn't need to have Jurassic Viagra. You see, all T-Rex needed to do was walk and chomp. It didn't actually need the arms for hunting or combat, and really only for the mating process. All it needed was a tail to counterbalance. And it definitely had a big ass tail, which was made to balance out its big ass head. No, the award for tiny useless arms probably goes to the Carnotaurus, which were pretty much vestigial. This means they didn't do a damn thing, and might explain some of its anger issues. Number 4. 
it wasn't the largest land predator. It was big, but it wasn't the biggest. Before you scream Mesozoic heresy, hear me out. It was one of the, if not the largest predator until other discoveries were made. In particular, Spinosaurus aegypticus, which you all know to be the ass in Jurassic Park 3. Unlike the film, these two never would have met since they didn't live close to each other, either in space or in time. Even Gigantosaurus edged out the T-Rex. Others that reached the size of the Tyrannosaurus were the Acrocanthosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and the Mapusaurus. The latter belonging to the same family as the Giga. The T-Rex, however, had something that none of these others had. Number 3. An Incredible Bite Force the Tyrannosaurus evolved for one thing that outshone any other land animal, and that was to deliver a bite force so crushing that no amount of flex tape could fix it. Us walking apes are considered to have a decent force of around 200 pounds, while the largest crocodilians have a bite force of 3,700 pounds. T-Rex said, hold my beer, and made the crocodile limp home in shame. Researchers based their findings on musculature and attachment points of the jaw and skull of crocodilians and applied that knowledge to the T-Rex skull. A conservative estimate from Gregory Erickson of Florida State University and Paul Gignac from Oklahoma State University put the bite force at an insane 8,000 pounds. When biomechanics expert Carl Bates from the University of Liverpool and paleontologist Peter Falkingham ran their model, they came up with 12,800 pounds. Whichever numbers you roll with, whatever was at the business end of the T-Rex was in for a pretty bad day. Number 2. Tyrannosaurus is one of the best studied dinosaur species. This is mainly due to two facts. The obvious one is that it is big and badass, and unlike anything that ever walked the land. Like, ever. Like the A-10 Warthog, which is a plane built around a soul-shattering gun, the Tyrannosaurus was a giant walking body built around an absolute dump truck for a head. Couple this fascination with the fact that a lot of Tyrannosaur specimens have been found in remarkable condition. This gives scientists a better foundation of knowledge for which to study the animal, rather than relying on incomplete specimens and then having to speculate or infer. Around the world, you'll see complete or nearly complete skeletons of the T-Rex, which is rare for a large prehistoric animal dating back 65 million years. So make sure to thank your local paleontologist when you see them. Number 1. T-Rex feared Triceratops. Before you get all fanboy about this in the comments, let it be known that I actually talked to T-Rex and had a bit of a counseling session. All was confident and smug until I mentioned the trike, and she went silent and sweaty with a slight visible shivering. You see, unlike some media portrayals, T-Rex was not a retard. As big as Tyrannosaurus was at 8.4 tons, Triceratops was significantly more massive, weighing up to 12 tons. Oh, and you may have noticed those freaking gigantic four-foot-long horns made out of solid bone that would gore the crap out of anything that pissed it off. T-Rex knew this and probably only went after young, injured, or already dead trikes. The only time he'd go after a full, healthy one is if it was completely desperate. But don't just take my word for it, take Robert Backer's word. Who happens to be right in just about everything related to dinosaurs? If there's an animal who sent would frighten a T-Rex, it's Triceratops. Triceratops is the most dangerous dinosaur, probably the most dangerous animal ever to have evolved on land. On average, Triceratops killed T-Rex. Major mortality factor in T-Rex populations was this tank, this herbivorous tank. With that, I hope you enjoyed learning more about this fascinating animal instead of some of the misinformation thrown out by videos that just want views. If you'd like to let me know what other animals to accurately cover, like and subscribe, then comment down below what animals should be featured next. Or just tell me to go to hell and leave. Take care and see you next time.